Welcome to the Prophetic Women International Ministry, Changing Your World and Changing Lives Through the Spoken Word. We're currently located at Agape Worship Center uh, International. Our address is 5401 North 90th Street, and that's Omaha, Nebraska. We're located right in the Baker Square, right there on 90th and Fort. Uh, you can visit us online at www.propheticwomen.com intl.org. Make sure that you like us on Facebook and spread the word and the vision. I'm your host, uh, Randy McGee, and the assistant pastor and prophetess at Agape Worship Center International under the leadership of my husband um, and our senior pastor, Apostle Marshall McGee. Don't miss our next Prophetic Women's International Seminar, which is going to be um, it's going to be Friday, February the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. It ends that Sunday night. Uh, that Sunday night we're going to have a graduation of our School of the Prophets. Uh, the theme for our seminar is called Appointed and Anointed to Influence the World. Um, why don't you partner with us and support our Prophetic Women International by sending your donations to PWI, which is Prophetic Women International, at P.O. Box 11652, Omaha, Nebraska, 68111. Or you can email us at www.prophetessmcgee, that's M-C-G-E-E, -E, at AOL.com. We would love to hear from you if you have prayer requests or if you have uh, any encouraging words to share with us or testimonies, please again um, mail that to our P.O. Box. That's PWI, Prophetic Women International, uh, P.O. Box 11652, Omaha, Nebraska 68111. Okay. Um, Wow, we're getting ready for Valentine's Day, and that's uh, coming up in, what, next week or so? I just want to greet you and say hello, and uh, welcome to the Prophetic Women, Changing Your World and Changing Lives Through the Spoken Word. God is, God's raising up and he's training global prophetic companies with the ability to rightly divide the words the Lord gives and to interpret them for the product, productive application of God's wisdom. In other words, God is raising up companies of profits. You know, and this is really 2014 or these last years, these are the greatest years of our lives. With the technology that we have in the earth and with the um, technology that God has given to us as a people of God, uh, there are so many things that God wants to do with us, his creation, but he's waiting for us to get in line with his words. We can't do anything outside of God's word, but when we become one with his word, when we fill our mind with his word, then God is able to bring forth uh, great things in the earth that are for the benefit of all mankind. This means that the Lord has so trained his messenger that he or she can skillfully be used in unity with his supernatural forces to completely bring his word to pass on the earth. In other words, God is waiting for, for his church, for the body of Christ, to uh, be in a position where he can skillfully use them. In, uh, with his supernatural forces. God is a supernatural force in the earth. And a lot of the things that are happening in the earth are supernatural, or they're beyond our natural human abilities. But God, and this is a word for us today, God in all of his awesomeness is looking for a people where he can, if I could say this, download his ability into us so that we can do great exploits in the land. God wants to bring his word to pass in the earth. He wants to bring his covenant that he's made with us into fullness. God uh, said he is not his desire that any man should perish according to John 3.16. It says, for God so loved the world 
so much that he gave us his only begotten son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but would have eternal life. God is not in the business of causing us to perish. He would not have created this beautiful earth. He would not have created such beautiful human beings, animals, all these beautiful things that we have yet to even see. He would not have even brought that into being if he just wanted to destroy us. God sent his son into the world not to judge the world. In other words, Jesus Christ did not come into the world to judge the world. He came into the world to bring salvation, to save the world through him. The only way that we could have eternal life is through Jesus Christ. God, who is the great lover, sent his only begotten son so that we could have eternal life. He is not here. This is not a dispensation where God is judging us and condemning us. He's making available for us to have eternal life through his son, Jesus Christ, if we would but believe. And that's the gospel truth. That's the gospel. That's the good news that because of what Jesus did, we have the ability to tap into a new life, a supernatural life, a life that is beyond our wildest dreams. Um, that uh, training begins with prophetic communication to earth on behalf of eternity. In other words, you know, this is Prophetic Women International. Well, what does that mean? What, is prop what are prophets? What do they do? Uh, prophets are a means where God communicates with human beings in the earth in behalf of all eternity. He has to find a way to communicate his desires, his plans, his wishes into the earth through a man or woman of God. And usually he uses his apostles and prophets to bring revelation, to bring us into a place where we can hear from God, know God's will, know God's desire in his plan and purpose for us in the earth. For the prophetic institution the Lord is erecting today, there must be uh, uniformity to become and remain uh, credi credibly functional. In other words, we don't want to be prophets that are just saying something out of our own intellect. No, to be a prophet, we need a sure word from God. And once God releases that word into your life, it really is propelling us into our future. Um, it, uh, it's prophetic. Um, once we, well, let's see, prophetic institution the Lord is erecting to there, today, there must be uniformity to become and to remain credibly functional. As long as we can be credibly in line with God's word, meaning that God will bring that word to price to uh, to pass, I'm sorry, that makes the word of the Lord credible. That's why the Bible is so important, because the Bible is really a book of prophecies. A Bible, the Bible is the book of revelation concerning our human life, our human existence, and our future, where we're going. And it has survived all these centuries that it is it has a credibility which is why it is with us today um, it's the prophetic education that helps us to understand the moves the plans and purposes of God so when we educate ourselves in the Word of God then it helps us to understand where God really wants to take us it will take the right combination and application of God's word to mobilize and dispatch the right forces needed to address Earth's and humanity's issues of the day. That's an important word just right there. Let me say that again. It's going to take the right combinations and application of God's words to mobilize and dispatch the right forces that are needed to address Earth's and humanity's issues of the day. Do you know that the earth has issues? Humanity has issues. The earth has an issue right now concerning the weather. Our weather is, is not normal weather temperatures that we're dealing with. How many know that we need a word from God? We need the wisdom of God to say, okay, God, what's going on with our weather conditions? And how can we speak into our weather conditions to bring change? 